guys it is saturday afternoon and uh, i would like to start my weekend vlog actually it will be a short vlog because i don't think it will be up to next week monday i'm starting it this saturday afternoon because there are a few things that i've uh, bought from the supermarket and i would like to share with you and officially it is my first uh, it is my first shopping haul that i've done and I would also like to share you, with you some of the things that I usually purchase uh, and uh, some of the things and the brands that I usually use over the month. This is just a few of the things because uh, tomorrow I'll be having guests, which is on a, on a Sunday. My siblings and my, my siblings, my nieces and nephews will be coming over to my house and I would like to host them. So a few of the things basically i bought them just to make my nieces and nephews happy so let me take you through each one of them really bear with the noise there's a church that is next to us and i'm sure they are rehearsing they are, re they are re rehearsing sorry for tomorrow's service but that uh, will not uh, hinder me from showing you what i purchased now these are some of the things one, I purchased this uh, fresher maziwalala. I like fresher because it has that taste of fermented milk compared to the others. I've used the others, which I don't want to name by brand, but with fresher, I like it. And uh, it's also smooth and uh, very tasty. So try it out. I bought this porch because it uh, retails at a price of 50, which is cheaper compared to the Tetra Pak which goes for which goes for 75 shillings also i bought two packets of milk basically this is what i will be using for tomorrow uh, usually i usually purchase uh, five packets for for a week or six packets but since i have like about two packets in the in the fridge i opted to pick just two of them uh, to add on what i have Sorry about that. I bought this yogurt, the fresher yogurt, the strawberry and the um, passion. Passion. This I bought for my nieces and nephew because they like it. And when they come, the first thing that they will ask, it's about the yogurt. I also picked this uh, Heinz mayonnaise, the smaller can. This I'll be using to make coleslaw. Uh, so I didn't want to purchase a bigger pack because I'm not a fan of uh, mayonnaise as such. Uh, as we continue, I bought this pack for my niece. One of my niece loved this thing so much. And uh, every time she comes, she'll ask about this letter. So any of you, I heard that these things can be prepared at home. If you have an idea where I can get those ingredients or those things that I can pop, I can pop, sorry, <coughs> to be able to make this kindly share down the description box as we continue if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to be able to get new videos every time that i upload so as we continue i purchased this highland cordial pine pineapple cordial actually i'm not a fan of uh, this uh, mixing uh, juice so i just bought it also for my nephew but my nephew and nieces but since it is the cold season people don't take a lot of juices i picked this uh, beef brown it was on offer in naivas it was going at a price of 122 and i thought let me pick this one so i usually purchase it at uh, the farmer's choice shop which is also a bit cheaper i bought this butter the salted butter that is brookside which i'll be using to prepare a certain dish that i'll be showing you i purchased this prestige i don't eat prestige on bread as such but i usually buy it maybe for my baking recipes sometimes so this is just for baking sometimes i usually purchase the bigger one but since i'll be doing some baking for tomorrow i'll use this I purchased this uh, white yogurt, sorry, white yogurt. I purchased it too uh, because, as you know, it, I'll be using it maybe for cleaning. I'll be using it for cleaning. Then uh, here, 
Here I have a, a minute maid that was on offer at one liter at a price of 99 shillings. And I picked this. I usually have, I, I had like three bottles of mango in the fridge and I thought let me pick tropical for a difference to add to the rest. Then uh, still on food, food part, I purchased this, the Faraja premium tea. I love this Faraja tea because they are loose tea. It doesn't have that fluffy, fluffy, the dust that you see in other loose tea so i love this if you haven't tried this faraja tea sorry 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 i don't think if you haven't tried faraja tea kindly do and i'm sure you love it and also the taste is so good and premium basically i usually use the can salt can salt uh, salt but today i thought of buying the top chef because i've been seeing it and it is so fine and refined it, it is so refined sorry and i let i said let me try it out so i picked this smaller pack to see out how it works because i still have the can salt in my other pack now with the rice i usually take the i, I usually love the royal umbrella jasmine rice for basmati, uh, I usually buy it when I want to prepare a specific dish. For instance, tomorrow since I'll be having guests over, I'm planning to prepare a fried rice recipe. And you know with that you want to use a kind of rice that is not mushy. So I picked this 1 kg that uh, I'll use for tomorrow's recipe. Sorry. Uh, now, uh, when it comes to ugali flour, Amaze is my favorite. I usually buy in a month. We usually two use two to three packs, but I pick this one because I will have like one pack uh, stored somewhere, stocked somewhere. So this one I'll just add to the rest so that we can continue using. So so far this is uh, part of the food that I bought in car in uh, the supermarket. Sorry, and uh, let me take it out. Let me take it from here so that I can show you the other things that I bought. Now let us switch again. Now this is the cleaning section. Now I bought this tilul. Sorry, this tilul with the Sokoni. I love this tilul because it really scrubs my uh, aluminium utensils so well. So I use it with this Ushindi soap. Ushindi bar soap and I can say the results are so so good. So I bought this. This is what I usually use. Now like this it, it is uh, pre, pre prepared. Actually they've cut it into small small pieces that when you want to use you just remove one then use to clean uh, uh, utensils. As I continue I also bought uh, this uh, Safisha Safisha scoring pad previously I've been using the sorry previously I've been using the the one with the greener scoring pad but uh, my sister recommended this one and she shared that it's soft and for real I can feel it's soft compared to the green one so I haven't used it yet I'll be using it at least to see if there's a difference compared to the other one and um, I just hope everything will be okay. I'll be sharing with you how I find it. Now, uh -huh, as we continue, I have other cleaning uh, products. I bought the Elisept. I usually use the Elisept and I just wanted to review this. I got this from Magimwende's channel she has reviewed it before and i loved it so i thought of trying it and i can tell you this thing does wonders when if your toilet bowl is stained or anything just soak it like for 10 to 15 minutes then you scrub and i can tell you you'll love the results also the smell is so good now when it comes to my um of my sorry my my cooker uh, it had some stains because sometimes when I use there are some stains that are too hard so 
I got this idea from Maggie Mwende's channel. She had used this before to scrub her cooker. I used it on my cooker and I can tell you it is good. So I purchased it. Funny enough, this Astonish product, this is the Astonish oven and cookware. I got them from Kafo. Yes, Naivas, they do have, but they don't have the wide range of the Astonish products. I purchased this. And to polish the stainless steel, I purchased the Maxwell stainless steel. Maxwell magic stainless steel this one I'll be using it to polish my my cooker because it's stainless steel I'll be try I will be trying it tomorrow because I want to see how it will work on my cooker also I bought it at Carfo at around 281 290 can't remember the price I purchased this uh, astonish bathroom cleaner for cleaning my bathroom tiles and I also love the smell it smell it brings out that fresh fresh feeling into the bathroom after you use it you just you just spray it on the walls on the tiles sorry then you wipe with a damp cloth now on the antibacterial um, uh, on the antibacterial uh, previously I was using Magni and I thought of, let me try this uh, Astonish Antibacterial Surface Cleanser, at least to clean my, my kitchen countertops and at least everywhere, every to sanitize everywhere. And I bought this at 438 at Carrefour. Previously, I've been using the Tropical uh, Air Freshener to freshen uh, my bathroom and toilet and uh, it has not made me it has not given me that joy of that freshness in the bathroom so i thought of trying something new so i bought this tropica tropicare and uh, the first the first time i i freshened it i can tell you this thing works yeah the air stays fresh for a long long long, long time so i also saw they have other variants that is the strawberry the lavender i thought of let me pick the chocolate because at least for something different and I, it was not that expensive it was going to around something 300 and something so try it out and you'll thank me later fabric softener i love the downy downy what do we call this this downy and uh floral breeze and i can tell you the smell is so so good i usually use it on uh, clothes <clears throat> especially my partner's clothes but because for me i usually feel like uh, it has it is so strong so i don't like it on my clothes then i bought this uh what do we call it? this kitchen towel they had an offer in Kafo. buy one get one at a price of about 130 and i thought of why not let me just add it so i still have like about two rolls so i just added it just in case now 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 before i forget there's this this uh container that i want to share with you actually i bought them from uh, clean shelf i bought them from clean shelf i wanted something some uh small plastic containers that i can use to store uh, food in the freezer section of my fridge and i didn't want to use the normal plastics because they are too big i wanted something that is uniform so i landed on this at a clean shelf and what i loved about this is that first of all they are micro microwave safe sorry according to the sticker that was stuck on it it is microwave safe and freezer safe even when you are heating food in the microwave you don't have to open the lid it has this part that has a hole which is breathable you can just open it and uh, heat your food in the microwave there are six pieces sorry six pieces very stackable at a price of 256 shillings so with these four pieces four containers will be able to fit into a part of my fridge and i can tell you i think it will do wonders i think i'll be going back for more that is for the freezer section because under the fridge section i have others that i'm planning to buy that is the glass 
storage container so let me clear this because i also ha i had the gone to do the grocery shopping for our oh, vegetables now uh this is my other grocery shopping i've just bought it uh there's a, a small uh, what do we call a, a small circle that is usually around where i stay and uh this some of these things i bought from there now i will start with this dania this i just bought it at around 10 bob 10 shillings and then i also got uh, these tomatoes i usually don't buy a lot of tomatoes because i don't like stocking my tomatoes into the fridge as you can see i don't like stocking my tomatoes into the fridge sorry I usually buy what I can use for the week again I'll buy others because I usually feel tomatoes that are stored in the fridge usually use lose their normal taste so I store I usually store them after buying and cleaning them I usually store them like this in uh, this uh, uh, basket another thing that I bought I bought these onions these red onions this, as you can see, I bought it at a price of 50 shillings, just the way it is, 50 shillings. I bought this and I can say it is a lot. It seems that this is a, a season for onions. So 50 shillings, I feel, I see which I make, I did not burn. Next, I picked these, uh, these uh, avocados and uh, the guy who usually sells them to me sold to me at 20 shillings and I can tell you, these avocados are so nice they don't have those stringy stringy things and they are not watery okay some of them are uh, i bought four because two are ripe two are not ripe, right, are not ready so that at least by the time by the time they are all ripe i'll be through with them Ooh. then i bought these sweet bananas we usually love sweet bananas and I can tell you like I can eat this one bunch alone. Not from morning to evening, evening but I can eat this one bunch alone at a go. I also bought uh, these carrots. These ones actually I got it at uh, just the way they are at 30 bob. Yeah, 30 bob. I didn't want much because I think I'll be going to the soccer maybe next week. Then I just picked uh, ga this garlic because I didn't have any and I had to prepare something for tomorrow. I also got this small garlic because I know I know at the soccer I can get a very big garlic. But this one I bought it at 10 shillings, which I'll just use for today. This one at 15 shillings. So that is what I got. I know that I can get these things at a very cheaper price from the soccer. I bought this cabbage where I stay uh, there are some uh, people I think there are, there are farmers who usually come with big trucks like this one I think I bought it at 40 that for 40 shillings so this one I bought at 40 shillings but I won't I'm not a fan of car of uh, cabbage but I think I'll use some and store the rest into the fridge now it seems it is the season for oranges. Ha. People have to get vitamin C this time. COVID, aina bahati. So I bought these oranges at 50 bob. And the guy who was selling them to me assured me that they are sweet. So I just hope. I, don't, I usually don't like oranges as such because I usually have a problem with acidity. And taking oranges for me, mm -mm. but I will try and see. And then I picked this this uh, garlic powder and uh, thyme because I want to use them to marinate the chicken for tomorrow I also got this chicken I also got this uh, there is a lady who usually sells them and I had requested her to prepare for me I think she put it in the fridge or something but not a problem i'll just uh, slice it into pieces then i'll marinate then put it in the fridge i'll cook this tomorrow probably i won't be showing you the way that i'll be marinating 
but I'll show you if anything happens I might decide to show you so I think I'll I'll meet you tomorrow morning because right now I have some things that I have to do I, I want to rush and go to a prayer meeting then from there uh, there's a chama that I want to attend so we'll talk tomorrow probably good morning uh, it is Sunday morning and I want to clean my cooker using the Astonish oven and cookware cleaner. I'll use a scoring pad. I will scrub on top. After, I'll be polishing it with the Maxwell Magic Stainless Steel, at least to ensure that it is sparkling, clean, and shiny. Just now, I've removed the grills. Thereafter, I'll be removing the burners. That is the scoring pad that I'll be using because it's not that rough. I will dip it into the Astonish oven and cookware. Then I'll start scrubbing the top of the of the cooker, as you can see. Thereafter, I'll use a damp cloth to wipe off the residue and to ensure that no white residue is left on top of the the steel. So, as you can see right now, I'm scrubbing it, and I'll clean it and to ensure that it is clean i will after i've cleaned it and wiped off the residue i will spray the maxwell magic stainless steel cleaner on top then i'll polish with a with a i will wipe it with a damp cloth then I polish with a dry cloth so enjoy continue watching as it continues Now I'm just polishing with a dry cloth at least to ensure that I've I've wiped all the soap residue or scum on the cooker and see how clean it has turned out. So shiny and sparkling. I just love this. 
So try these uh, 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 products that I've shown you and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Now I want to prepare breakfast because it is Sunday morning. I want to prepare breakfast. So we'll be having tea with the, these sweet potatoes, which I plan to prepare it in a different way. I won't be boiling my sweet potatoes because whenever I boil, boil them, they usually give me a lot of heartburn. So I'll be peeling them, then I'll be cutting them into like chips, and then I'll be deep frying them. Continue watching on what I'll be doing with my potatoes and enjoy. I did, most, I did it off camera because it was a bit late and uh, I was tired after a long day's work. This is how it looks. So what I did, I used uh, thyme, uh, rosemary, uh, garlic powder, red onion. I blended the red onion and then paprika with some little oil. So I'll be, let me prepare the baking tin because I'll be baking them in the oven. I'm trying to melt task, task, sorry. So uh, the oil is hot. I'll add in my, pota my sweet potato chips. Just be careful to avoid, to avoid getting burned. I think I'm trying as much as possible to put quite a number so that I can be able to to fry this into like two two batches so I'll give it some time for it to cook on one side before I flip it so I want to prepare my baking tea the one that, that I need to bake the chicken on I prefer uh, putting the aluminium foil because I don't want the tin also to to have uh, for the oil to, to be on the tin. Also one thing with my tin it's like it's scrapping off so to avoid this uh, black uh, paint from uh, getting mixed on my chicken I leave this uh, uh, aluminium foil and uh, line it on my bed. I'll do that off camera then I'll show you the final result. Now this is how it looks. I'll be aligning my chicken here then I'll be baking it under 250 degrees for one hour. So I'm turning my potato chips at least to ensure all the sides are well cooked. I want them to be crunchy 
at least so that when I eat, I just feel that taste. So you can cook them up to the desired color. For me, as soon as it turns, uh, it looks like it's crunchy. I remove it from the from the oil and uh, put the next batch and fry at the same time to the desired to the desired color, as you can see. Yesterday did not conclude my day because when I was supposed to film, unfortunately, my siblings my siblings came in and also the kids and I could not do anything. So I just had to do everything off camera. I prepared the meal and I can tell you they really enjoyed. I'm sorry that I was not able to show you the final uh, product of the chicken that I had marinated and I was baking. But uh, in the future, I'll ensure that I show you because I'll repeat the same recipe at least uh, under camera so that you people can also see the end product. So today, uh, after work, I passed by the point Buruburu. Uh, there is a shop that I had seen. They were selling some nice shoes and I thought of, let me pass by and check what they had. And uh, they had very nice flat shoes. Let me show you what I got. Now, I got this. Because every time that I pass there, I usually see these uh, shoes displayed and I thought of, I should buy at least a pair. They had, they have it in black, uh, navy blue, uh, nude, and uh, this uh, somehow maroon reddish. Okay, on camera it's showing pink, but it is somehow maroon. And I picked this, and I can tell you they look so nice on me. Oh, I can't wait to try them on. At the same time, considering it is a cold season, oh my, I passed by the Naivas Buruburu and I found these uh, warm leg warmers. I've been seeing them and I never thought of picking them. So today I thought of why not. I saw they have them in uh, pink, red, brown. But for me, I thought of 
let me pick this blue one and for real i've not tried it on i want to try it on let me try it on then i'll show you how it so this is how they look look at the inside so warm and the price actually they are not expensive let me see if it will focus the price is 351 shillings only so that is the price i will try them on then i'll show you same to this i'll try them on on i bought it at a uh, thousand shillings so i'll show you how they look now look at this look at this don't they look beautiful and i can tell you they are so warm and comfortable so i'll be wearing this in the house as you can see considering it's a cold season i know they'll do the magic let me try on the maroon ones and you see how they look. look at that oh my oh my i love this color so much and i can tell you they're so comfortable very very comfortable so if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do kindly do subscribe to my channel click the like button and also share this video with your friends let me end this uh, video here and uh, we'll meet in the next video bye